So now, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكْ Now we come to this ayah. Allah Azza wa Jal says to His Messenger, especially for you and for your sake, we have elevated your mention. We have elevated your mention. The first thing to note is, what does this have to do with his burden being relieved? What's the connection between the Messenger's mention being elevated and his burden being relieved? This is the first critical thing we have to understand. Here what I'd like to comment on is, you know, the Messenger's task وسلم, is to deliver this message. And if a lot of people are making messen- the mention of Muhammad Rasulullah وسلم, isn't that what the Messenger wants all along, that they should accept that he is the Messenger of Allah? By elevating his message, his, his mention, it's already a guarantee of the victory of Islam. That concern has been relieved for the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's a beautiful hadith narrated, Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu anhu, Atani Jibreel alayhi salam. Jibreel came to me, the Messenger says, alayhi salam, وَقَالَ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ يَقُولُ أَتَدْرِي كَيْفَ رَفَعْتُ ذِكْرَكَ and he says, your ma- Jibreel came to the messenger and he said, your master says, your Rabb says, do you know how I elevated your mention? So he, Jibreel, on behalf of Allah asks, Rasulullah sallallahu do you know how I elevated your mention? Qultu Allahu ta'ala a'lamu bihi, I said, Allah the elevated knows best about it. I don't know. So he says, qala idha dhukirtu, dhukirta ma'i. He said, whenever I am mentioned, you are mentioned with me. Whenever Allah is mentioned, Muhammad sallallahu is mentioned with him. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad rasulullah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah in the adhan, and then what? Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Right? Similarly, at tahiyatu lillah, wa salawat wa tayyibat. Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi. Right? So you have, every time you find the mention of Allah, you also find now the mention of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Beautifully, the word rafa'a to elevate is the antonym, the opposite of wada'a to take off. So both words have come in proximity of each other for rhetorical beauty. Dhikr in Arabic is two things. Rafa'na laka dhikrak. Dhikr is two things. Of something to be present on your tongue, when you mention something, that's dhikr. Or something to be present in your heart, meaning you're remembering something. These are the two meanings or implications of dhikr. So now let's talk a little bit about this... Uh, Laka, warafa'na laka dhikraka. Number one, we elevated your mention for your sake. Allah is showing His love to His Messenger وسلم, saying, the reason your status has been elevated and your mention, and that the fact that you will be remembered in the hearts of people, the reason that has been elevated is for your sake. Laka. That's number one. The second thing is only for you. This kind of elevation has happened only for you in and of this self, itself. This is a miracle of the Quran. This ayah, in and of itself is a miracle. You know, the sun rises slowly, which means the time of Fajr, the time of Fajr in one town is at one point, and then two minutes later it's in another town, and two minutes later it's in another town, and it keeps going like that around the earth, right? Every time it's Fajr, what goes on? The adhan. Every minute, the next town over is making adhan. And by the time you get halfway through the world, What's happened to the first town already? What time is it now? Zuhr. One cycle hasn't even finished, the next cycle has started all over the world. What's being recited? Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And every time a believer hears that, what are they saying? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa rafa'na laka dhikrak. We elevated your mention for you. Subhanallah. So it's the adhan that is meant. Uh, Al Alusi rahimahullah wrote something really beautiful about this, so I'll share the whole thing with you. Wajala ta'atahu ta'atahu. Allah made following the Messenger following Allah. Didn't He elevate him by doing that? Then wasalla alayhi fi malaikatihi, and He sent His salawat upon him in the company of His angels. Meaning Allah sent His salam upon salawat upon the Messenger. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. This ayah of Quran, right? Now. وَأَمَرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ بِالصَّلَاةِ عَلَيْهِ Then he commanded the believers, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا Not only did he make salah upon the messenger and the angels, but he commanded the believers to do so as well. وَخَاطَبَهُ بِالْإِلْقَابِ Amazing. Then when he called him, when he talked to him, his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa he called him by loving name, بِالْإِلْقَابِ From لَقَب Okay. What are the الْقَابِ actually? كَيَا أَيُّهَا الْمُدَّثِّرِ يَا Ya ayyuhal nabi, ya ayyuhal rasul. You know in Quran you find ya Zakariya, ya Yahya, ya Musa, innani anallah. Right? Ya Dawudu, inna ja'alnaka khalifatan fil ard. 
Ya Adam, uskun anta wa zawjuka al-jannah. Right? Ya Isa, inni mutawafika wa rafi'uka ilayya. You have all these messengers, Ya and then their name. We don't find Ya Muhammad in the Qur'an. It's not there. Ya ayyuhal muddathir. Ya ayyuhal muzzambil. Ya ayyuhal rasul. Ya ayyuhal nabi. Subhanallah. What elevated status for the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Allah doesn't address him by his, by his name, but by his titles. By titles, honorary titles Allah gives him. Then, then going further, he says, وَكَتَبَ فِي الْأَوَّلِينَ أَخْذَ عَلَى الْأَنْبِيَاءِ عَلَيْهِمُ الصَّلَةُ والسلام. He, he first of all wrote, the, mentioned the name of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the earliest of the scriptures. Meaning he mentioned to the people before that this final messenger is coming. And he took an agreement with all of the messengers that they must believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that wa umamahum and that the, and their nations that when they see him and when they come into contact with him that they will believe in him. So the adhan, the salah, the kalima, the khutbah, human history, Allah and all of the angels, the salawat upon his name in the salah itself. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. The quantity of the mention, not to mention the quality of the mention, Allah elevated. Warafa'na ala kadikrak. Look at how even Allah elevates his mention in the Quran itself. In the Quran itself. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Two comments and I'm done inshallah ta'ala. The first comment is we live in a time where people try to insult the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa openly. They do so openly. We, we, the, the, the scar of the Danish cartoon is still very fresh in our minds. Even before that, you know, this is not something new even in contemporary times. People remember issues like Salman Rushdie and other, you know, jokers, right? We remember these things and they scar the, the you know, the, the Muslim. No one thing. This, this is very important for us to know. Trying to insult the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is as useless as trying to spit at the sun. It's only going to come back on your face. Are these the first people to insult the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam? No. He was insulted much worse than this to his face. To his face. But even then Allah told him, and Allah told the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam, your chest becomes tight because of what they say. وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّهُ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ We know your chest becomes tight, for sure, because of what they say. Even then, even then, Allah gave him in Sharah al-Sadr. And what was the consolation? No matter what they say, what has been elevated? Your dhikr. And your, they will, their insults will never be even close to competing with how much your dhikr has been elevated. How much that's been elevated. This is the first thing. That the, the honor of our Messenger is beyond, beyond blemish. You can try all you want. You can open up all the evangelical websites in the world. It won't go down a bit. It'll only increase the believers in the love and honor they have for His Messenger It will only do that. That's all it will do. And their attempts to do so in and of themselves are a proof of how much we love our Messenger This is the first thing.